Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this super quick video, I want to show you one of the new features of Blender 4.0 Alpha. From my understanding, this is one of the most requested features for Blender. The feature is called light linking. This allows you to tie certain objects to certain lights. So the object will either receive or not receive light from that light source. In addition, there's also shadow linking, which will say whether a certain object will cast shadows from a given light. So in this super simple example, we're going to take this image and go from here to here with just one simple light setting. The effect I'm going for is that the ground is going to be dark and not receive any light from the light source, but still have some cool reflections on the bottom. So if I were to take the ground and just change its material to black, I would get this. If I reduce its roughness, not much would happen. I could play around with different settings. And here I get some reflections, but it's just not giving me the effect that I want. So I want it to have some of the quality of this white material. I just don't want it to be illuminated. So what I'll do is duplicate my lamp object. I brought it down just a little bit, not so much that it'll matter, but that I can still select it easily from my original lamp. To create light linking, what you have to do is select the objects that you want to link to a lamp. In this case, it's the floor, and then active select the lamp you want to add it to. Next, you'll open your linking menu with Control L. Down at the bottom are two new menus, link receivers to emitter. So these are things that are going to either receive or not receive light. If you choose include, that means this object will receive light from the emitter. By default, that's what objects are. If we say exclude, then the selected objects will not receive light from that emitter. For shadows, we use the link blockers to emitter. If we include a blocker, that means that that object will cast shadows from the given light, and exclude means it will not cast shadows from the given light. So in this case, we want the floor to not receive direct light from this lamp. So I'm going to exclude the floor from this lamp. With my lamp selected, if I go to the Object Properties menu, you'll see under the Shading section, there are now subsections for Light Linking and Shadow Linking. And we can see for this lamp, I've added Plane to this Light Linking group. And by clicking this lamp, I can either turn on or off the linking for this given object. You can name these groups if you like. And so if you were to go to another lamp, you could choose to apply the same light linking group to another lamp. That way you don't have to continually recreate these groups of objects. In our case, we're just going to shut off the original lamp. And then we'll go to rendered view. Now in this particular case, it's interesting because while the ground plane is not receiving direct light from the lamp anymore, it is still receiving indirect light. As you can see, as you can see from the reflections of the camera onto the ground plane. But here we're getting the reflections on the white plane rather than on the black plane. So we get an interesting, if not somewhat unphotorealistic effect. But I think it is quite striking. Of course, one of the key uses is to be able to add some key lights to an object without those lights affecting other things in the scene. So for instance, if this side of the camera is a little darker than I wanted, I could simply add another light and since I duplicated this one, it's going to have the same light linking group. I'll turn down its power. And now even though this has bumped up the reflections here, it hasn't added any additional direct light to the ground plane. Of course, while this is a very simple example, I think it just scratches the surface of some of the things you'll be able to do with light linking. So I encourage you to download Blender 4.0 Alpha and give this new Cycles feature a try. I do want to give a shout out to polyhaven.com where this camera model came from. You can check them out for all sorts of CC0 licensed HDRIs, textures, and models. I also want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters and tell you all how extremely grateful I am for your continued support. Anyhow, I hope this video piques your interest in what you can do with light linking and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. And so until next time, I'll catch you later.